All right, praise the Lord. Welcome to Healing Word Church. I'm Pastor Andrew Alexander here in Bandera, Texas. And I tell you, I give God all the glory, all the praise. So glad that you join us today. Uh, praise the Lord. We got a great message for you. And uh, I tell you, the Lord is good. So we got a great message. It's called Wait on the Lord. Before we get into the message, I ask you to bow your heads with me. Father, have mercy on us. Father, forgive us of our sins. And Father, we ask that you would just intervene today, O oh God. Help us to understand this word and to receive it from you, O oh God. Remove anything in our heart, every hindrance, everything that seems to want to block us. And Lord, we just look towards you. Father, like always, I ask you to speak through uh, think through my mind and speak through my mouth as I minister unto your people today in Jesus' name. All right. Well, praise the Lord. We're going to have a great message today. And like I say, it's called Wait on, Waiting on the Lord. Waiting on the Lord. All right. So uh, praise the Lord. And that's what we're going to learn. So this is something that people have a hard time uh, doing, waiting on the Lord, you know. They have a hard time doing that. So waiting denotes patience. Waiting denotes patience. But before, before the waiting, you must hear something from the Lord. You got to hear something from the Lord, you know. And uh, wait till the Lord talk to you, you know. That's what I'm saying. When the Lord give you something, then that's when you move forward, right? You go accomplish whatever it is God uh, wants you to do, but you got to hear from the Lord. Otherwise, it's your agenda. It's not his agenda. See, like I say, the Lord has, he has his own agenda, and we forget when we become a child of God uh, and a follower of Jesus Christ, our plans are now put on the back burner, and we now follow the leading of Jesus to fulfill God's plan, you know, God's plan. And I want you to understand, this is where waiting starts. You know, because we need to fulfill God's plans, you know. And so I want you to understand. So when, praise the Lord, when we, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to put it this way. Put it this way. Uh, I like doing puzzles, right? So you got a big puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle. And, you know, you got all these pieces. Now, God has a plan of how he wants to put this puzzle together. And you are one of those little pieces, Okay of the puzzle. So he'll tell you uh, when, to, when to put your piece down because there's other things that might need to occur before you put down that your piece, okay? So you gotta, you gotta wait on him, wait on his direction, and then put your piece down, all right? Praise the Lord. So that's kind of how it is. As God leads us into his plan, we will learn to wait on his direction. So as he leads us into his plan, we're going, we're going to know his direction. Because if we wait on him, then we, we'll know what to do. We first have to die to self and our desires, right? Not have our will, but his will. We have to desire, die to self, right? And uh, our will. And then take on his desires and his will. Amen? So we got to do that first. We got to do that first. We got to do his will. We got to do his desires and the things that he want us to do. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then, then we can uh, learn how to wait on the Lord after he gives us some direction. All right. So let's look at this scripture. Psalms 27 and 14. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage or be happy and he shall strengthen thy heart Wait, I say, on the Lord. So God wants us to wait on him. He don't want us to go do our own little thing and everything, but he will encourage your heart. When we just sit and wait on him to accomplish these things, the things that he said in our life, then I'll tell you what, he will encourage your heart. Let me tell you, God has spoken some things to me that I'm still waiting on some things. I want you to understand that. But he has spoken some things to me in the past that took almost 15 years to come to pass. And I tell you, my heart was encouraged. I said, wow, my goodness, look what God is doing. Man, he kept his promise. This thing is coming to pass and it's going to work. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. So you got to understand God, he has his way about doing things, you know. He has his own way about doing things. So I just get excited about that. So we're going to look right here. Uh, we're going to talk about the purpose of waiting. The purpose of waiting. Why do we wait on the Lord? Amen. Because there is a purpose that God has. Like I said, for that puzzle piece and everything, he has a purpose. All right. So right here, I uh, want you to know, we got to learn to trust God uh, as he provide for you. You got to learn how to trust him because he, he, he wants you. He wants to provide for you. But you got to learn how to trust the Lord as he provides for you. And I'm telling you, that is an important thing is to learn how to trust the Lord for your provision. Now, this may take some time. You know, take, it takes time on your part. But you have to realize that all that you have come from the Lord. Right. Everything that you got come from the Lord. He's your provision. And he's he was providing you from the first day that you came into this earth. Amen. He is your provision. And uh, so, I mean, everything that you got, you had to wait. He gave you the money to buy the things, but you still had to wait to get the money. Right. So you had to wait on that. You know, you just couldn't go do whatever you wanted to do. All right. So next thing he needs to do is to increase your faith. Increase your faith. So he got to get you to a point to where you can believe and trust him a little bit better. And as you do, uh, you, you'll learn how to wait. So you have to draw closer to the Lord. And that's what he wants. He wants you to draw closer to him. And Father will allow you, he will allow things to be put, uh, you know, he will allow situations that requires you to use your faith, right? And he will uh, give you things or say things to you, but they're set outside of your reach. They're set outside of your reach. So, you know, like uh, a house or, or a car, you know you can't afford it, but he said he's going to give you one, right? So it's outside of your reach, so you have to wait and trust God. And you have to spend time with the Lord so that, you know, you'll get to know him better. You'll know when he's talking to you. When is, when is he drawing you in? You know, you need to know all these things. Also, you need to, uh, you need to uh, draw closer to the Lord. You know, you got to draw closer to the Lord. This is the most important part. You need to draw closer to him. You know, and uh, because that's the only way you're going you gonna to find out what he wants to give you or any direction that you know, he's going to give you. See, this requires spending time in prayer and in Bible reading. And you will never know the mind and will of the Father if you don't dedicate or sacrifice time in the presence of the Lord. If you don't spend that time, you will never know God's will for your life. You know, you'll never know what he wants you to do. And see, it's hard to wait when you don't, when he has not given you instruction or you don't know what he's trying to do. So that's why you got to go spend that time with the Lord and draw close to him. That's what you're doing. You're going to draw close to the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So let's look at this scripture right here. Uh, Psalms 37 to 34. It says, wait on the Lord and keep his ways, right? And he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Amen. Now, he's promising you something right here. He said, if you trust in him and you wait on him, he is going to bring some things to pass. Amen. And it's going to be a blessing unto you. He's going to encourage your heart and you're going to inherit those things or get those things that you wanted and you desired. But when you wait on the Lord, he is your provision and it is his good pleasure to give you these things. I'm telling you, God wants to give you to him. He don't want you to have to go toil and work and fight and scrape and get mad at people to try to get what you want. He wants you to trust in him so that he can give you the things that you desire. That's what he wants to do. He wants to, he wants, he wants, uh, he wants to bless you. So you got to be faithful to the Lord and he will bring blessings to you if you just simply just be faithful to him. God requires every believer to keep his word at the level of knowledge given to you. He does not expect you 
uh, to be able to keep or to do what a mature saint can do. So he's only going to give it to you at a level that you can handle. Amen. He's not going to give you something that a real mature saint, you know, you might be just on milk. He can't give you meat. Not at this time, you know, until you grow. So you got, he's teaching you how to wait and he's going to grow you and get you to that place. You know, amen. Praise the Lord. You know, that's what he's going to do. He's going to do that for you. So let's look at this scripture. Psalms uh, 69 and 6. It says, let them that wait on thee, O Lord. Those that wait on the Lord uh, be, be not ashamed. All right. So they won't be ashamed. They're not going to be ashamed for anything. But let those that seek you not be confounded. Okay? So that's what that scripture is saying. You know, that when you, when you uh, seek the Lord and when you wait on the Lord, God is not going to confound you because he promised you. Especially, that's what I say, you need to hear from the Lord. Because if he promised you, you know it's going to happen. But if you go do something that God has not spoken... Well, you're going to be frustrated. You're going to be mad. You're going to be upset, you know, because he didn't say he didn't say anything to you, you know. So you you just you're just going to kind of get mad and everything because he has he just haven't done it for you. Understand, God is able to keep His word. He cannot lie, people. He cannot lie. If He promised something, He will make sure that He can it will come to pass because He's able to do this. He's to make, he, he knows that it's going to come to pass because he promised it. Amen. That's what I say. You need to wait and hear the Lord and wait on him and then wait on him to bring it to pass. All right. All right. Praise the Lord. And Proverbs 20 and 22, it says, Say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord and he shall save thee. Okay. The Lord is going to take care of it. The Lord is so good that he would deal with your enemies and all you have to do is wait on the Lord to fight back for you. You don't have to worry about fighting. He's going to fight back for you. I want you to understand that. He's going to do the fighting. You ain't got to do all that stuff. Not at all. Just trust in the Lord and wait on him. And he's going to do all these things for you. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, you ought to be excited. So you got to learn how to wait on the Lord in all that you do, everything. You need to have the conversation with the Lord and just wait on him to, to do it for you, whatever it might be. And just trust the Lord in this whole thing, okay? Well, praise the Lord. I tell you what, I am so glad that you have joined us. And uh, like I say, I'm Pastor Andrew Alexander here in Bandera, Texas. Amen. And uh, at Healing Word Church. So. Praise the Lord. Come visit our website. Let us know what's going on in your life. But before I close, those of you who have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, let's do that right now. If you would bow your heads with me, let's entreat the Lord and say, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Lord, forgive me of the things that I have done, how I treated Jesus, how I acted, that using your name in vain, Lord, forgive me of my sins, okay? And then now, let's ask Jesus. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Fill my heart with you, Lord, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Go ahead, ask him. Say, Lord, come into my heart and fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. And after you do that, let's turn to the devil. Say, devil, I renounce you. I renounce your works. I'm not going to follow you no more. I've repented of my sins, and now I'm on Team Jesus. And uh, I tell you, all, the, the devil's going to be mad and everything, but that's all right. You're on a better team, and that team is with Jesus Christ. All right. Well, praise the Lord. I am so glad. Please contact us. Let us know what the Lord has done for you, what he's, going to, what he's doing for you. Write us a letter. Text us. Go to our website. And, uh, and, and just contact us. Let us know. And those of you who gave your life to the Lord, contact us. Let us know. We got something we want to send out to you. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Well, again, I'm Pastor Andrew Alexander, the pastor of Healing Word Church in Bandera, Texas. And I just want to say God bless you. And I'm so glad you joined us. 
And uh, we will see you next time. God bless you.